what is and folks over regular channel hope everyone out there doing good you feel me i hope you won that powerball mega billions all right so i wanted to take a look at the way that this seal looks um on this motor here so i want to pop this clutch and flywheel off because i really don't want to have to take this oil pan back off again because I would have to clean all the gasket off and I would have to replace the, the oil pan gasket and those are like 30 bucks now and I just put this on I really wish I would have spent an extra couple seconds just making sure that this little piece right here was like fully like out ringed around the uh, the crank right there but you can see it it's it has like a ridge right here, ridge right here, and then it just disappears. And I filled it, that in with Honda Bond, and it feels pretty, pretty solid. And I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure this would be fine, but I'm just worried that the edge is gonna like, I don't know. I'm just paranoid. So what I'm gonna do is pop this clutch off really quick and see what it looks like. This is from a company called Sa South Africa Pro Gold. So after um, looking up the uh, numbers and then I saw the um, imprints on the clutch kit itself, I figured out it's a Luke product. And Luke is a OEM requirements meeting um, replacement product. Uh, I think they're like based out of Germany, but I guess they have manufacturers all over the world. So this may or may not be a stock a clutch kit. I'm not 100% sure what they would use. I think it's safe to say that this uh, clutch is not the OEM one. But look at how dusty this flywheel is right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can pop that off. Something I noticed right away was this um, gasket also kind of does the same thing, but it's, so I'm wondering if it's just the way that this gasket um, is shaped. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this oil pan back off again. Alright, so I have this all cleaned off and I think I'm just tripping. As you saw before, um, it kind of sat in the same way too, where this side kind of is on the inside a little more. And yeah, I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and send it like this. I am gonna <laughs> I'm gonna add another glob of uh, this sealant right here, around here, around the edges. Um, and hopefully that works out for me. Alright, so when I went to put the uh, oil pan back on, um, I noticed it was folding inward again. What I mean is the gasket was kind of leaning in. And so I just smacked the side of this uh, oil pan and the whole thing lines up now. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. In my head, it's like, you know, skewed off a little bit, which means that oil can get in there. And all it has to do is get past the rows of gasket. I hope that I left enough, a, a thin enough coat that the, uh, the, the ridges on the part that come out here are, are gonna stop any oil that comes out from it being off on this side so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet five bucks that uh, it's gonna leak within the first week of driving this thing it'll leak so that's me betting against myself I'm still gonna send it because if it does leak hopefully it's not that bad but if it does leak, like I said, I just got to get a car going. I got to get the other car back in here. It's winter time. I can't be having the, the B swap outside. 
Um, so that's just, I'm just gonna get this, this swap done and get the other car back in here safe and sound um, because I do wanna have that ready for the Toys for Tots meet in December. Um, and yeah, so, all right, so that's gonna end this video, folks. Oh yeah, I'm hella stoked I found my Zeti uh, headband so I can be like, yo, I'm not officially sponsored yet. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and send this. Uh, there is no lip right here. This is just the outer part of this gasket sticking out. And honestly, this one kind of does it too. So maybe it's just the way that this gasket is, is made. So once it's all the way against the back of this uh, oil pan, this side over here still doesn't stick out overlapping the metal. Neither does this side, there you go. So I'm just hoping that um, this is gonna be good. I mean, it is torqued down. I do have a obvious seal all the way to this point. And, um, you know, I have, it's a whole, about a quarter of an inch, maybe even half an inch right there of space. And then there's the back plate that does have a lip to it that is right here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be good. And if not, I'm hoping that this Honda bond and the, I'm gonna add another little bit of RTV over this section here as well. This kind of shows you a little better what I'm talking about. But that is sealed up. I mean, that should be good. So, future self, after you're done with this swap, um, if it leaks, you had an opportunity to, to do this right. And I'm sorry that you're so stubborn that you uh, went through with it anyways. Um, but you know, luckily it's just a de-swap and you don't have to worry about having a hole in your oil pan like you did with this one. So that's going to do it for this video, folks. Stay tuned for the final, um, parts to the how to D series. Now I can get back to work on that, get back to work on the how to D series series. But, um, yeah, I might go ahead and tear this, this motor down really quick just cause I have my power tools. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow cause it is like 2 AM. No, 118. Oh, my clock. Oh wait, you put the clock back. Don't forget to set your clock back. All right. I'm out of here. Peace out. You're